at, honestly, with open chords especially uh, at first, and then bar chords definitely. Um, that squeezing down. So what if we did this? I want you to just put, give me the three. Just give me that one three. You got it. And then give me this five. Nice. Go ahead. Yeah, no, yeah, just that five. Now go to this five. That's it, just with your pinky. Yep, no other, no other notes. That's it. And then give me this four. The four in the second string. You can see all you're doing when you're playing this is playing one note four times. If you think of it that way, rather than just like, oh my God, I've got to play all of these notes at the same time, you won't press down so much and you won't be like twisting your hand all crazy to try to bend it down to cover all the strings. If you could do this, you just did that all singly. So now you know there's no note that you need to press down twice or three times as hard. So now, what if we did this, dude? What if you put it all down, but made it all light? And then you went like this, watch. You're gonna, you're gonna get in position, right? So you still have three, five, five, four, but you're gonna go like this. Press down the three, play it, and then lift it up. Press down the five, play it, then lift it up. Then press down this five, play it, lift it up and then the four. It's weird because you have to like go in this weird order with your hand, but that really shows like, oh, that's all you're doing. And then you're just pressing all at the same time with the same amount of pressure, not like this crazy, you know, trying to break your guitar, <laughs> your guitar thing. So just think about it. All I'm doing is playing one note four times together. Right? Because if you think of like, oh my god, I'm gonna play four notes, your hand just like goes goes crazy. If you like pinch right right here and you have your finger going right into your thumb, you're gonna get like that much pressure and it'll hurt that much more than if you do this and try to use that part of your finger. So when we're doing that chord, yes, just like we said, it gets a little weird, it gets a little a get a little crazy, and these fingers bend inward. If you have them curled up and around and they're pointed directly into that string, they have to press down so much less than when they're, oops, than when they're like laid flat like that. And not only that, they're going to get in the way of the other strings and this like keeps them out of the way and makes sure we're not squeezing way harder than we have to. Right? Super light. Also, remember that right hand trick? Go light with the right hand and the left hand will loosen up. That's it, dude. You got it. Booyah. Yep. Right? Right. There you go. It's so much harder. And and because I see it too, if we're just doing like these warm-up exercises, that people will start doing this. Right? And I guess that that kind of makes sense. Pointing directly into each string is like kind of weird. But it's like when you do that. Like we're saying, and you go directly into those strings, it's almost like you're not even pressing down anymore, right? It's just like your hand just naturally just like, oh, that's it. That's easy. Now, try this one. The, this is like breaks that rule because we're just going to use our third finger. The three, five, five, five. Right? See so if you can get that one in there. Same idea now. Even though you're this finger is doing something absolutely crazy by bending in. Ah, dude, that's perfect, yep. It doesn't mean that you have to squeeze that third finger any harder. There you go, man, that sounds awesome.